not sure if we've ever uh, talked about something like this. Do you, what's the phenomenon of having so many gifts of yourself exist in the universe? Do you send outlander gifts of yourself ever on any occasion? I may have, yeah, maybe, maybe once or twice. What's your go-to? Because um, whenever, I think the first one that always comes up, I think you're pouring water on yourself. You're shirtless, of course. It's you use that one a lot, That you? one's my go-to. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it works for every occasion. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> no, I use... I just keep sending it to you, waiting for a response, and you're just like, mm, yeah, dot, dot, dot. Uh, delete, delete, delete. <laughs> um, block. Uh, I use... There's one of me walking up and seeing the, the other Highlanders, like, hey, friends, or something. There's Sassanac. <laughs> Um, there's a raising of the glass, which I quite like. Um, but, yeah, I do love a wee gif. I, mean, I don't got, have any of you. Th th there are probably some of us together, I'm sad to say. I'm sure there are. I've yeah. seen, definitely seen it. But, well, that thing you can do now, where you can get a photograph and... and Animate it somehow, or what? Like and, and, text to it? Or? And click on it, and yeah. it copies the person in it, and then you can send that. To that part, to to whoever. So I mean, it's sort of like a like, gift. This is like watching Sam discover the internet. It's yeah. like there's this thing where you can it's write a, down something, you can and then write, you can magically and then send it to the person on the screen. <laughs> it's magic, Josh. It is magic. It's, it's sorcery. Magic. It's dark. And magic. have you seen these things? You can like <laughs> speak to people. Oh, someone's calling me now. Um, some questions from your misbegotten fans. I don't know what they see in you, but they sent me some questions for you. Ready? Oh God, yeah. Um, they're better than mine, don't worry. No, they normally are. <laughs> it's not hard, the bar. Um, this one, actually, you kind of answered already, but I'm going to give her uh, some love. Gail wanted to know, can you recommend a couple of your favorite cocktails made with wild Scottish gin besides oh. gin and tonic? Yeah. I mean, uh, a gin spritz, uh, a French 75. Um, I think our gin works really well with tonic, but I don't know. I mean, as a martini. Um, yeah, there, I, I love classics, and I don't really think there should be more than three ingredients Components, in a cocktail. Because that's going to mask the, yeah. the purity of the your purity solid of product. the Scottish wild landscape in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> and when you drink it, you do sound like that. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. Waiting for my case. Case? Weird. Oh. Bottle. I'll take anything. Okay. <laughs> Flask. <laughs> <laughs> Joel wants to know, what's number one on your Spotify right now? Yeah, let's see. Well, you shall find out. Um, Please hold. Um, I'm working at the moment in Belgium on another TV show. Mm -hmm. And we've been playing a lot, uh, uh, a lot of music. It is, oh, this is lovely. Home, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic. It's a jolly little song. It's lovely. Yeah. Is that just walking the streets? Is that at the gym? That's just what goes through my head <laughs> as I walk <laughs> the streets. <laughs> do, do, do. I love it. Do, yeah, upbeat. Um, and, uh, uh, let's see. Susan Holder wants to know, is there a travel destination you haven't been to that you'd like to visit? A uh, travel destination that I haven't been to. I mean, I, I was just saying, I'm, I'm working uh, in Europe at the moment, and that's kind of fun. We're shooting all over Europe, and uh, we're in Belgium, we're in the Netherlands, we were in Maastricht recently, uh, Antwerp. Um, I'm in Amsterdam, so uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm enjoying that because the places in Europe that I haven't been to, yeah. um, that I kind of guess I wouldn't have ever gone to if I wasn't working on this I job. I feel like you're like one of these people, and I hate to give you any credit, but you've cracked the code of like how to live a life because like obviously acting brings you places. Yeah. But then the men in kilts, like now you have license, like it's for work. We well, have to go spend yeah. months in New Zealand. Thank or... you for uh, yeah segueing into that. But yeah, absolutely. I mean, and also I get to pick on someone, so I get it's, to fits all your I get, checks all your boxes. I get to go to a country <laughs> I've never been, do the things I want to do, and also torment someone. Amazing that I enjoy tormenting. Yeah, well, we know once you murder Graham, I'm on the, in the on deck circle. I'm yeah, waiting. yeah, he's. Surprisingly resilient. Yeah, uh, he's yeah he's been yeah. working out his entire life for this yeah. exact circumstance. And I, I make him suffer. Uh, you do more yeah. so in the next season. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Scotland, obviously, you know, is about the, the, the heritage and the culture, the music, the food, the drink, and also making Graham go off a cliff. Uh, and I realize in that moment that he doesn't enjoy that. So we went to New Zealand Double where down on it. it is the adrenaline capital of the world, um, especially down in uh, Queenstown. And, um, but also we're exploring, again, the food, the drink, the culture, the heritage, the Maori, the, the, the history and the Scottish connection. Um, and he does survive. Amazing. Spoiler. Well, I don't see him here. We, I mean, we're sure about that. He's not turned into like an AI version of Graham now. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, make the press tour very awkward. Yeah. <laughs> like a cardboard cutout next to you. I mean, <laughs> I might suggest that. <laughs> uh, watch, uh, you're working, it sounds like, but watch, yes. watching anything lately? Have you uh, had a chance to catch up on 
fantasy sci-fi Lord of the Rings, House of the Dragon, mm. and White Lotus. Yeah. What do you got? Oh, yeah. I mean, all of those. I've watched them all. Uh, I really enjoyed Lord of the Rings. Uh, um, I tried not to watch House of Dragon because Graham's in it. Um, <laughs> White Lotus, loved. And what am I watching now? When I'm not in a, a sort of drama period, I'll then I'll go back to some sort of bad reality television and right. just watch that. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, would you ever, look, you're, you're, coming, you're coming towards the end, I mean, it's still a ways to go, towards a long-term commitment. Mm. Is the idea of another series, like say like House of the Dragon or Game mm. of Thrones, because I know you like auditioned way back when for yeah. Game of Thrones. Mm. The next Game of Thrones says, Sam, you're our yeah. guy. Yeah. Is that going to be hard to say no to, something like that? Uh, it, you know, it's a really good question because I, I am having to think about the future. And um, we've been looking at stuff and have been offered some things. Um, and normally I would just jump at it and say, yes, yes, yes. But I'm also thinking, well, look, nothing, I don't think, I think it'll be hard for something to come along like Outlander, like an iconic character like Jamie Fraser again. Um, so I'll not, never say no, okay. is, is, I guess, the answer. Okay. God forbid. Aaron Taylor Johnson is our new James Bond, as mm. is the rumor today. Mm. He's a nice guy. He's not Sam Hewen. I might t I'm going to have to do something about this. <laughs> we don't know. It's all rumors right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, you, you, you had your moment back in the day of, of, of almost getting it. Mm. Is that tough Like when like, you're, like that kind of thing comes close? And then is it, if it doesn't happen, what's your attitude about that? Oh, no. I mean, look, the Bond of it all, I, um, I of course, I'm a fan of that, sh that, uh, that, that, franchise and I um, would love to have sort of thrown my hat in the ring again but um, also like there's so many other things out there and um, yeah I'm, I'm I don't know I've also played as I said an iconic yeah, character point, right done, yeah and done 10 years of it so I guess signing up for, for Bond you'd probably have to do commit to another 10 years yeah I'm not sure I'm, I'm prepared for that I don't know um, all right. Are you ready for the happy second fuse profoundly random questionnaire? Yeah, go. What was that? What just oh, happened? It was like a little, a little shimmy. shimmy. You shimmy. Oh, a little shimmy. Yeah. Well, it's better than your last question, so it's kind of. Uh, what do you collect? Mm -hmm. Besides my soul, besides my, my tears. Um, uh, amongst other things, like memorabilia. Yeah. From your own stuff, or just. Uh, and, and also, like, I, I suddenly started buying like old things, like antiques, or yeah. So. I guess, I guess, like, yeah. Let's just say I've got this. Look, I've got this man cave sort of film room in my house, and it's got like pieces from uh, different shows that I've stolen stuff from. Mm -hmm. uh, kleptomania, basically, <laughs> and uh, and also, yeah, the odd little like artifact. Okay. Mm.